Hey guys, welcome back, Excalibur here. So in this video, I'm going to discuss a strange subject, which is hero builds. So a lot of people will ask how to build this, how to build that. But if you look at it as someone who understands games, you will see that this game is not different than from any other game that you play for years and understand. So you just have to have this mentality that each game have types of heroes or champions or whatever you call them characters yeah so idol heroes is not so different from any other game so this game have factions have um classes but i would like to just go and call them in few types so we have damage dealers we have support heroes which will be divided in few branches you have like attack buff heroes uh, or damage buff heroes and you got your protection heroes you also have specific heroes for specific purposes like controlling or damage over time heroes so yeah we will consider them as a damage buff heroes basically uh, these heroes have different builds for different situations so we have damage dealers so the main damage dealer you have whether it's any hero but this damage dealer needs to have specific uh, qualities or specific options so a damage dealer must have considerable um, attack or um, he must be an aggressive hero that can do a lot of damage like sword flash shia or like um, i don't know maybe even as model uh, we have also jara we have fairy queen vesa aspen eos anyone can be used as a damage dealer but it's a preference for you that you can and you need to choose someone that can be your main carry hero like for me for example the first damage dealer i had was sword flash so if you don't know sword flash have something called impeccable flow so we'll, she will basically deal tons of damage to more than one or two or three enemies she can go full aggressive on the whole enemy team and destroy everyone so we also have some of the new heroes like um, Star Swordsman, Mothman, which can deal tons of damage in first round when he is paired with an energy aggressive artifact like a Melodic Strings. We also have Vulcan that can also be a really great damage dealer. He can deal tons of damage if he is built right. We also have Lord of Fear Aspen who can be really awesome if you have built him in a household. So all these heroes can be used as a damage dealer so the main job of a damage dealer is to deal damage yeah it's i know it's basics but for a damage dealer for example i have here a star ranger how to build a damage dealer that can deal tons of damage so you need to focus on a few things first of all you need to give this damage dealer all gear and all and the max stone you can get for him basically so a main damage dealer will go like attack crit crit damage stone or attack attack stone or even it depends on different heroes but the main build for most of them is attack crit crit damage for a damage dealing artifact there are plenty of artifacts to, to use but melodic strings can take the, the crown for this one it's the best damage dealing artifact in the game it will deal tons of damage from the round one you can also use more damage dealing artifacts okay so you can even go like more damage if you're going to use like a three to one split so basically this will increase your attack by a considerable amount is it worth it i would say no in certain situations yes but not in all situations what else for a main damage dealer you need this guy to do tons of damage so you're going to give him full grid enables you can even go crazy with like a balanced strike and even shared fate if you want him to just go and destroy everything for a damage dealer all you care about is crit crit damage and maybe even um, holy damage or skill damage precision whatever that boosts your hero's damage so yeah you need to give him aggressive imprints what else? So for the Tree of Origin, you have to check which uh, sublimation materials or sublimations that you need to upgrade because every hero have different priorities in sublimations because sublimations 
uh, chests are really rare to accumulate so we need to just make sure which sublimation will work fine for your hero for example i have the active skill which is basically everybody will be useful with so your main damage dealer needs an active skill sublimation um, you can also check with the community to see which sublimations will benefit your main damage dealer you can also go as crazy as getting a core for your main damage dealer to give him more awesome skills and for the skins yeah you need to get the most aggressive skin for this one i have attack holy damage and control immunity i also have this uh, ace skin but it's attack hp so yeah this one is awesome for damage dealer and for the tree of origin yeah basically you need like a tree five on your main damage dealer and a full house with full houses you can uh, go and just make sure to upgrade these houses to the max level that you can get and get these heroes to the max upgrades that they can get this is your main damage dealer in a nutshell build so yeah aggressive everything artifact stone all of it all right so what else we have the support heroes so support heroes have like a protection heroes someone like fairy queen Vesa, which gives shields it will heal your team so someone like this can use a demon bell or she can also use a crown or an amb so she can be sustained she can uh, be alive and continue supporting your team she can also use uh, melodic strings and the list goes on so if you want your support hero more defensive you can go like 2-2 split this will give your support hero more hp okay so yeah support hero needs uh, maybe hp hp speed hp something like that because i'm using fairy queen as a main as a main uh, not a main but as a secondary house uh, holder so yeah i'm using her aggressive with speed but for someone i'll show you my fairy uh, my mystic fairy Freya. so for example i'm using uh, mystic fairy Freya. so speed hp awesome for a support hero she will be fast and she will be providing uh, she will get also some protection from the hp you can also use demon bells on your support heroes that will make them faster and also they will keep energy feeding your main damage dealer for support hero you can also go with speed which is growth or you can go with vitality if you want them to survive more okay and for these switches yeah i am doing some testing now so the basically you're going to need like block um i don't know control immunity armor something like that will be really awesome block control immunity and armor so, so this hero will survive more and keep providing more support for your team and yeah for the support heroes yeah uh, it's really limited but if you have a skin like uh, control immunity defensive skin yeah you can use it anyway so the second type of support heroes are the damage buffs so damage buffs basically someone like this so she will give a damage over time which will give your main damage dealer more damage uh, over time so by the rounds passing by your damage dealer is going to deal more tons of damage because of this hero who will provide more damage for him or her so yeah this guy's job is going to be an aggressive but you can also use uh, your uh, damage buff hero with a speed hp i'm using her as a tenant but yeah that's for the sake of the video yeah speed hp demon bell and uh, yeah you can also go like an aggressive on your uh, damage buffs but you can also go speedy on your damage buff heroes yeah for the uh, switches you can go either like a special one like this like recreate damage damage reduction it's a bit aggressive a bit uh defensive but you can also go like mystic fairy freya like block and uh, armor and damage reduction for more sustainability so she will keep uh buffing your heroes uh damage your main damage dealers damage basically every hero needs the active skill to be maxed but you can check also the community guides on which heroes or which sublimations are prior uh, priority for different heroes because every hero have different 
uh, sublimation priorities, okay? All right, so what else? Now we have the special ability heroes, someone like Stormwing Jara. So what is special abilities? So we have something in the game called crowd control or CC. So basically a crowd control is an effect that when inflicted on the enemy team, it will freeze them. So they can't do anything, basic attacks, active attacks, active abilities. Uh, so they will be frozen. So you will hear like different terms like freeze, petrify. Uh, yeah, uh, these basically are control effects like dazzle, like uh, what a stun. Yeah, all these effects are the same. It basically means uh, the that the hero you inflict this control effect on won't do certain abilities, whether it's basic or an active ability. So these are special ability heroes. Who else? Uh, who else? is uh, a special ability hero lord of fear aspen so lord of fear aspen also have fear so fear is another form of control so when he inflicts this the enemy team basically won't launch their basic attacks or crit okay and the list goes on so these heroes have special abilities so how to use these special abilities heroes so in order to use your heroes with a special ability, you need special ability artifacts. So your hero, like Jara, she controls enemy team. So you need something that will enhance her control abilities. Something like control precision, something like an eye of sight, which will offset the target 30% of control immunity. That means she will shave off 30% of the target's uh, control immunity protection. Okay, so when you inflict, when you add an artifact like this on a hero like this, she will be a control machine. Pair that with a speed attack, she will become a damage dealer and at the same time she will be a control freak. Basically, yeah, yeah, that came out wrong, but you know what I mean. She will control the enemy team and she will still deal tons of damage because she is still a main damage dealer. Alright, so... This is how you build your heroes. But what about non-transcendence heroes? What about someone like Rogan? Well, Rogan is also a special hero. He will. Uh, he is like um, Scarlet Queen Halora. He's a support damage dealer. He's a support um, damage buff hero. He will enhance like a lot of damage uh, stats on your team when the round starts. So this guy needs. Uh, demon bell or an energy artifact and for pvp if you want your team to survive you need to add crowns or build the purple fans so your team can live more and keep fighting all right is this it yeah that's it basically guys so if you have a main damage dealer give this main damage dealer a badass stone some like uh tech Attack crit crit damage, attack attack holy damage, attack attack speed attack, anything with attack will work on your main damage dealer. You need an aggressive artifact, something like melodic strings, something like um, AMB or Punisher of Immortal. Okay, you can go as crazy as 3 to 1 split, which will give you more attack. For the enables, you need aggressive enables on your main damage dealer. You can even go as fast uh, as far as full red on with shared fate and balanced strike. For the imprints, yeah, crit, crit damage, holy damage, or skill damage, or precision. Depends on which damage dealer you have. So, Starving Jara is different from Star, uh, from Sword Flash Sia, different from Vulcan, different from Mokman. Everyone have uh, different abilities, depends on their skills. For the tree, yeah, you need the active skill on your mid damage dealer as fast as you can, so it matters. The active skill will give your hero more damage. Awesome. And for your support heroes, you need them with either energy artifacts like demon bells or with crowns for PvP. You need them to survive, so you will give them a stone that will give them HP or will give them protection. You can go as crazy as 2-2 split for more HP and for the imprints, you can go either with vitality or with growth. Basically, growth will give you 20, uh, 20 speed and it will split your attack by half and give like 5, uh, it will give you like 3% attack, that's all. This one will give you 12% uh, attack, um, HP, sorry. And for the imprints, yeah, 
you need block armor damage reduction or you can go like control immunity block and damage reduction yeah you just need this hero to survive so when this hero survives he will provide more and you will give energy to your main damage dealer and he will keep buffing your team and protecting them for this yeah you can go with a core but also the cores like sublimation have priority in their build because they are really rare to uh, acquire so you need a guide from the community on which core to go for first and which sublimations goes on each hero for the skin yeah for the support heroes you need defensive skin like hp or control immunity for aggressive you need attack holy damage crit damage whatever comes in your mind just put it on your hero and let them do their work all right this is going to be it guys i hope this was useful for you if it is leave a like subscribe man let's reach 1k and yeah join the discord if you want i'll leave the link down below and i'll see you guys later so peace out